Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Skepticism is a necessary tool if you are uh, looking to find the truth. And in this case, you, uh, when you're given a piece of information, you make sure you verify it and try to verify it from as many sources, different opposite sources, not the ones given by CNN, MSNBC, and uh, BBC, and these guys are in the same team. They have different names and different locations, and <clears throat> sometimes they are in different uh, countries, but they are, they are on the same team. So verified with outside sources. And the problem is when these guys in a war in Ukraine tell you that, you see, the Ukrainian air defense systems is destroying about 90% of the Russian missiles or rockets, incoming rockets or so on, well, be skeptical about it. Why? Because then you read articles like this one and you realize, wait a minute, that means they lied. And I'm going to tell you why. Use logic, intelligence, memory, patterns. Here, this article comes from Ukrainska Pravda. It comes from uh, December 10th, 2022. Government of Odessa Oblast asks people to leave if possible due to long-term power outage. Well, what happened? Yesterday, the, uh, I was about to say American, the Russians uh, sent some missiles, little missiles, okay, and uh, drones and all that. Not too many, not too many. And the Ukrainians said that they'd blown up about 90% of them. And by uh, judging by, again, what these guys tell us, Russians have a very low accuracy rate. So that means from 100% uh, uh, missiles that were not shut down. So let's say you got, let's go like this, 100 missiles and rockets, projectiles, Russia sends. The Ukrainians, according to the Ukrainians, blow about 90 of them. So 10 are going out. Now, the 10 that are falling, the Ukrainians tell, told us with their articles that about 20% reach their targets. The rest are just going like crazy. So that means from 10, only 2. So that means from 100 cent launched, 90 were blown, and the 10, only two will really hit the right targets. The rest are just falling in, I don't know, no man's land. Okay, this is according to Ukrainians. Now, the Russians launched those uh, attacks on Odessa, I don't know, about 10 or some 10 missiles or something. So that means like two of them uh, escape being shot down by uh, by the Ukrainians and from those two uh, take 10% out of two and you find out that a little piece of one missile hit the target but that caused so much damage that the whole oblast um, uh, Odessa oblast and I don't know 60% or 80% of uh, Odessa the city had no water and no electricity as I said uh, how is that 20% um, of two missiles okay cause this damage that tells you they are lying all right so when is it, why because now they tell us that hey that that attack that occurred yesterday was so fucked up that these guys tell this the authorities tell the people leave leave the town because we will not be able to restore the electricity and water they say up to months those two, the two, uh, 20 percent of the two rockets that escape, bullshit. Anyway, so let's see. DTEK, Ukraine's national power regulator, reports that it will take much longer to restore power facilities in Odessa Oblast than it did after previous Russian missile attacks. The authorities say that it can take up to two to three months. I made a video on, on, on that with Odessa and you find out there were not uh, 1,000 missiles launched, not even 50. I think it was about 10 or something. But anyway, I can't remember. Just very, check that out. DTEK, Odessa Electric Networks, Department of Life Support and Energy Efficiency Systems of the Odessa Regional, Regional State Administration. That's the source. <sighs> Quote from DTEK, and I'm quoting, right? Odessa and almost the entire region remain without electricity. The situation in the energy sector of the Odessa Oblast remains difficult. End quote. Details. Meanwhile, the authorities reported that the time that the time it 
may take to fix the power system is, and I'm quoting, not about days, but even weeks and possibly two to three months. Quote from Odessa State Administration, and I'm quoting, obviously, we understand how difficult it is to stay without electricity for such a long time. What are you talking about? You're going to be dying. That is why we appeal to you with a request. If you understand that soon, that soon it will be difficult for you to cope with ele without electricity and you have the opportunity to temporarily leave the city of Odessa and head to Odessa from for Odessa Oblast or beyond it, then it should be done. Now, as, we, uh, as a result of the attack of enemy kamikaze drones on Saturday night in the Odessa Oblast, significant damage was caused to energy facilities and thousands of consumers were left without an electricity supply. Just, I can't remember the, how many there were, but it was like 10 or 12 or something like this, kamikaze drones. Now you can watch that movie, uh, movie video, not that I wanna, oh, I wanted to watch my, the video. But if you wanna learn exactly how many there were, I uh, mentioned that because I used one of these weasels uh, articles. Now this is a tragedy. This is a tragedy, all right? Is the United, is the United States going to talk, to talk to Zelensky about it? Is gonna pressure Zelensky to talk with the Russians? Are the United States going to negotiate with the Russians? Because actually, you know, it's United States and Russia is not uh, Ukraine. Re Ukraine is just the territory and the people who do the dirty job at the order of the other guys. That's what I think, okay? That's what I think. And uh, <laughs> the evidence is right there. So <laughs> it's not that I am just woke up with a hard on and I decided, oh, I think um, that's what it is. I don't think so. Anyway, um, that's one thing. Is, did you see that happening? The Americans negotiating with Russia? No, because Russians are terrorists, right? And war criminals. Okay, but who was released yesterday? Who negotiated with whom? And for whom? The United States of America spoke with Russia to get that basketball bunk, bunk, bunk player out in a swap with a mustache man, the, uh, how do you call it, the whatever of, uh, of death the Ministry of Death, whatever they call him now. Anyway, yeah, the, the Russian, the, Wash, the, the Russian that was uh, supposedly uh, selling arms. So the merchant, that's how they call him, the merchant of death, Mr. Uh, Victor Baut, 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 anyway. That, that's the guy. So they, Americans, spoke with the Russians for the fucking basketball player. But these guys in Odessa were gonna die like, it's gonna be a tragedy over there it is already no we're not gonna talk with the Russians whatever the Ukrainians want it's fine with us but we're gonna fight for greener for Britney Britney come home and do some more how about that I'm not saying that she's actually she broke the Russian law so the punishment was nine months but what about those guys in Odessa what's their fault a any fault of their own Did they uh, uh, bring drugs in another country where it's illegal and she knew <sighs> that makes you know uh, a route for certain kind of uh, yeah that's why you know I mean I, I, I don't want that woman to stay over there nine years for fucking c cannabis uh, you know a few months would have been enough I would say I would you know uh, you know the punishment uh, should uh, you know match the crime but I don't think nine years matches the crime for Miss Cannabis girl, okay? I don't think so. She stayed nine months. I think she overstayed her visit to Russia for the cannabis. But hey, that's their law. That's their country. That's their people's turf. So we should, shouldn't should interfere and say, hey, you should change that because in our country, you can stick it in your ass if you want for free and you don't get arrested. Well, that's in your country. In our country, it's different. Oh, you think you're morally superior. Exactly. Well, maybe you're not. Look at what happens in Ukraine. You can stop that tomorrow. But the Odessa people don't have it. I'm not blaming on the United States because the Russians did this, right? But you can't, you can't only look at the gun. Oh, the gun shot the guy over there. No, the person who hand, handled the gun shot that person. Used the gun to shoot it. Gun, Ukraine. Person, 
Russia. The other person who shoots at this guy is, is Russia. So United States, I don't know if I say Russia, United States, Ukraine, Russia. And Russia is not the victim, okay? But it's, it's a different story. What I'm, what I'm talking about is about these guys who have to relocate, relocate them. Over there is not like here. United States, oh, I'm just going to go in a hotel somewhere or uh, I'm going to move to, I don't know, Aunt uh, Ginny or something. No, it doesn't work that way. They're much poorer than uh, we are and have less uh, economic power and uh, freedom over there. Let's put it this way. And uh, a lot of people will die of uh, uh, exposure and starvation and all that. And everything is going to be thrown on Putin's little hunchback over there. And uh, this guy's gonna say, see, we told you. Well, it's more to that than uh, meets the eye and the ear. As uh, Elon Musk said about uh, Nancy Pelosi's husband uh, 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 with that guy to the story. Anyway, so uh, it's a tragedy, a big tragedy and it's winter. No electricity, Pfft. anyway, man. Anyway, and you imagine those guys, they are celebrating uh, Britney and you got the other guy, the Whelan, Whelan, Paul Whelan, Whelan, the Marine guy who fought in, uh, I was about to say Vietnam, in the Gulf. And he was over there four years already and he's got, I don't know how many more years, 10 years to stay over there or, f or nine years. And he's still there, but Greener, the f basketball player was, was swapped with a mustache man with a merchant of death. As I said before, it's like paying for a pack of cigarettes $3,000 and then congratulate yourself. This is the United States. Well, we got a pack of cigarettes here, $3,000. But the $3,000 doesn't come from his pocket. If the $3,000 would be coming from his fucking pocket and that's his children's pocket, then yeah, he's not going to pay for greener $3,000. But it was easy for them. Yeah, give them a fucking merchant of death. Give us the basketball player. We're going to score a few points on the democracy, uh, democracy field and then we'll be... Hey, you gotta love democracy. You show yourself as all the time, and then you look underneath the uh, carpet and you find the cockroaches and garbage. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.